Welcome back to the Modern Ham YouTube channel. Um, as you can see in the title there, today we're going to be talking about sending an email and SMS text messages over the APRS network. If you're not familiar with APRS, uh, it would be best to get a generalized overview video maybe or read up about it before you start this. Um, APRS is the Automatic Packet Reporting System. It's a digital protocol um, that ham radio operators use to mainly share position reports, weather data, stuff like that, but uh, typically a, a message is transferred with a GPS coordinates of your location. You can add a message in there to call, send to a specific call sign, but the really cool thing is you can actually use it to send messages out over external networks and get to email servers such as Gmail and Yahoo and stuff like that uh, as well as cell towers so you can send text messages and the way this works is instead of uh, whenever you send a message in APRS instead of sending it to a call sign we'll be sending it to a SMS gateway which reroutes our message and converts it to a cell message and gets it to the cell phone or an email gateway which will do pretty much the same thing so it's super cool uh, systems that you can utilize uh, if you're out somewhere and there's not cell signal and you don't have internet, you can still use your radio to contact friends and family if need be. So I'm going to show you guys first uh, a video of sending text message over RF with my FTM 100 and while I was uh, in the parking lot there in, in uh, Lexington. Um, and I'm going to send you, I, it'll show you as well as uh, sending a message back. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys how to do email over IP through my phone through APRS Droid. If you're not familiar with the app, the link will be down below. Uh, it's a really cool app for using APRS messaging on your phone. You can use it with audio or you can use it with the uh, uh, RF. So, or you can use it with RF or you can use it over IP. I'm just waking up. Anyways, you guys enjoy the video. Uh, this one's going to be a little more short. It's to the point. It's not a how to do APRS video. It is a how to send text message and email through APRS. If you guys want, if you're interested, we can do a more in-depth overview of APRS in the future. Anyways, do let me know what you think of the video down below in the comments and make sure to subscribe. Alright, so surprise, surprise. I was having some issues with the bow thing and uh, getting those messages out, so I've turned to my FT100, FTM 100DR that I have in my car, and we're going to be using this as my APRS interface to send a text message and my um, email out. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the text message. Uh, whatever radio, TNC, or application you're using, uh, the way you format the text for the text message is. Uh, for the call sign, you're going to put SMS GTE. That's short for the SMS gateway. Okay, so you're sending that out. Now, the important thing here is in the message body of the, the APRS message you're sending, the first thing needs to be your 10 digit phone number with the at sign in front of it. Okay, so this is the at sign. I have my 10 digit phone number. Please don't spam me. And then after that, you'll hit, you'll make a space. And anything after that in your message is going to be your message content that comes through. Okay? So, when I hit the send button, you're going to see my cell phone. Uh, you're going to see it light up with the text message. Alright? So, I'm going to go ahead and TX that. It goes out. You get an acknowledgement. Then here on my cell phone... I should receive my text message. And there it is. So if I want to reply to that text message and come back to my radio, uh, the way you reply is first you type in the at sign, and then you type in the call sign of who you're sending the message to. I'm going to type in my call sign followed by hyphen and dash your, your number, just depending what it is. Mine's set for KN4MKB-7. And then you'll hit space, and then your message content. So for this, I'm just going to type in message. 
from phone. I'm going to hit that send button, and then you're going to see on my radio, I'm going to receive it. Let me try sending that again. Oh. Oh, there we go. There's our message from phone. So it just came in. It just took a little while. It might have been a build up of messages. But that is how you send text message over APRS. So now we can uh, send an email. All right, so due to uh, lots of issues that I was having with the RF there, we will be sending email over IP with APRS. So it's just the same deal. Um, we're gonna open up our messages. I'm gonna turn my connection protocol to IP. Gonna go to messages and there was our SMS gate message. So this time we're gonna send a message to again and for the call sign uh, to send an email, you're just gonna write email hyphen two. So my FTM 100 actually has a limit where I can't do email hyphen two because it's too many characters. Kinda dumb, uh, they could easily fix that in a firmware update but it is what it is. So the message text. So the message text to format an email to send out of APRS is going to be first the email you'd like to send the message to. So I'm going to put my email address and then space and then you just type your message. So I'm going to do hi from APRS. Done. So you're sending a message to call sign email hyphen two. And then text is going to be Billy, or it's going to be whatever email address that you're trying to send a message to, space, and then the content of the message. Go hit OK on that. And I just got a reply back that says email sent to billy.dean.com. And I got a notification on my phone. And it says hi from APRS. And the cool thing is it actually shows your location too in the email. It has a link. So you can hit... Uh, that find KN4MKB or whatever, or find your call sign it was sent from, and it'll show a map with your uh, your location, your geolocation uh, on the map. So that's super cool if you want to talk to friends and family. Um, but yeah, so that's how you email and message on uh, APRS. <laughs> All right, so I hope you found the video interesting. Um, a lot of hams I find don't know that you can use text message and email through APRS. So I figured since this channel is dedicated to new hams, um, maybe somebody can see this and uh, especially if somebody subscribed to my channel, um, they can see this and see that you can do these type of things and kind of enjoy uh, practicing it and doing it and maybe they might get some use out of it one day. I remember there was this one time when I uh, was leaving for work and I was living in my girlfriend's apartment and I didn't have a key yet and no I was leaving to do some uh, running I was running in the morning with a dog and uh, a lock somehow the door got locked maybe I walked out with her and she locked the door I think that's how it went but got outside with the dog went for a run and came back and realized we couldn't get back inside I needed to go to work and um, I needed to change take a shower and the only way I could get a message out was going out to my car, get on my FTM 100 and sending a text saying, Hey honey, please come, come unlock the door and uh, it saved me then. So you never know when you find, you might find yourself without a phone or you might find yourself without cell signal or whatever it be. Anyways, I'll stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching the video.